Now that we've calculated the roof, we know what spacing we need. Now we need to start marking. You always start marking your roof at the inside corners and go out. We're marking this at 18 inches. On this last section of the roof, we have three and a half feet, but as you notice, we have a wall right there. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that on this outside gable, you need heat cable going up it, whereas you really don't because it's a cold roof all the way to the peak. So technically, we really only need to add heat to the wall barrier point. So we're gonna take it just past the wall barrier and go from our mark 20 inches out. Now that we have our roof edges marked, we want to come into the valley. We've calculated this valley at five feet. We originally wanted six, but we brought it down due to cable limitations. So we're going to mark this at 20 inches at 40 inches and 60 inches. In these locations, we want to make sure we have anchor points to keep the cable in place. Now that we've got the clips set on the roof, our next step is to lay the cable in the clips and get that ready. For that next step, the link is in the description box, so click on that to keep following along.